tech tycoons backing Trump don't need an algorithm to know he's good for business. But critics say their support adds up to a threat to democracy. While Silicon Valley portrays itself as progressive, its alliance with Donald Trump exposes the industry's true motivations, power and profit above all else. Despite championing inclusive and evidence-based policies, a faction of tech elites has aligned with Trump enticed by his unconstrained capitalist vision. At first glance, Trump might seem an unlikely ally for Silicon Valley. He has been known to criticize tech firms as biased threats to American workers and has shown little reservation in slamming these companies publicly. Yet, a small but vocal group of tech elites backed Trump in 2016, and with his 2024 campaign now looming, all indications suggest they might be ready to do so again. A significant inflection point in this complex relationship came with Trump's recent return to Twitter, or as it's now known, X. This move has forced other tech firms and leaders to reconsider their political alignments. Elon Musk, the owner of X, welcomed Trump back to the platform enthusiastically. Musk's decision was likely influenced by the potential attention and activity Trump's large follower count could bring to the struggling social network. However, this move also highlights a potential ethical dilemma. Does the commercial upside outweigh the ethical ramifications? Of course, Musk frames his lenient policies as free speech advocacy rather than commercial interests. But Trump's exemption from rules suggests that business motives outweigh principles when profits are at stake. Other tech figures like Peter Thiel make no pretense of their stand when it comes to Trump. Thiel, an early Facebook executive and billionaire venture capitalist, was once a high-profile Trump endorser. According to sources, Thiel has made it clear that he will not donate to any candidate in the 2024 elections. It is worth noting that his decision is not based solely on commercial interests. Instead, Thiel has expressed concerns about the Republican Party's focus on divisive cultural issues, which he believes are overshadowing more substantive economic policies. Thiel seems frustrated that Republicans are putting so much energy into debates about things like abortion, immigration, and gender identity. In his view, they should instead be focused on economic issues like taxes, regulations, and policies that support business growth. His apparent reluctance to donate to any 2024 candidates indicates that his backing of Trump was more nuanced than many might assume. Now you know Elon Musk and Peter Thiel's stand concerning Trump. Let us know in the comments, should tech firms consider social impact when endorsing candidates? Click that like button if you want more coverage on tech and politics. Moving on. Silicon Valley's political identities are as diverse as they are complex. While the tech industry tends to lean Democrat, there is a vocal faction of leaders who previously backed Trump due to overlapping business interests. But this alignment might be shifting as some former allies like Thiel now appear to be distancing themselves. Alongside Thiel, other right-leaning tech influencers like Palmer Luckey and Martin Shkreli eagerly back Trump's economic nationalism and brash leadership style. They care little about his demeaning rhetoric or democratic subversion as long as their profits keep climbing. This reveals a disconnect between Silicon Valley's outwardly progressive image and its underlying corporate motives. When confronted with the possibility of antitrust and censorship measures proposed by Trump that could threaten their business models, tech elites are quick to voice their opposition. However, many of these individuals fail to acknowledge the broader harm caused by Trump's attacks on truth and diversity. Their support appears to be more focused on policy rather than principles. If Trump's policies end up benefiting their profits, then his negative social impact is often overlooked or dismissed. While the tech industry is predominantly liberal, with a majority of Democratic donors among its employees, there are dissenting voices that prioritize maximizing technological progress and shareholder value, even if it means ignoring societal safeguards. These voices view regulations as a threat that could hinder industry growth. They see Trump's capitalist approach as a model to aspire to, free from progressive constraints. Essentially, the ruthless business mentality of some tech tycoons leads them to support Trump, even if they don't fully agree with him on social issues. They are willing to overlook his authoritarian tendencies because they believe he promotes an economic vision that benefits their companies and shareholders. Trump claims to support unchecked capitalism and policies that benefit American businesses. But in reality, his own global business empire relies heavily on foreign labor and materials. For example, many Trump-branded products are manufactured in factories overseas, especially in China. His hotels and other properties also employ many foreign workers. So while Trump says he wants policies that promote American companies in manufacturing, his businesses are very connected to international supply chains and foreign workers. His policies also tend to favor the rich, throwing his rhetoric on capitalism into question. 
Yet, some tech companies continue to support him under the guise of a respectable cover. Elon Musk, for instance, sometimes flirts with Trump's right-wing views when it benefits him. Although he doesn't entirely endorse him, he amplifies conspiracy claims that aid in his engagement and is against tax reforms targeting billionaires. The technology industry in Silicon Valley like to portray themselves as progressive and open-minded. Tech companies say they value facts, data, science, and clear communication. However, when you look deeper at the core beliefs of Silicon Valley, there is a strong faith that unchecked capitalism is best for society. By unchecked capitalism, we mean capitalism without constraints, regulations, or consideration of social welfare. Silicon Valley firms believe that maximizing profits and shareholder value without limits will create the most good for society. This belief can trump other progressive values they profess to care about. See what I did there? As a result, most technology companies will support politicians who protect their ability to make money, even if those politicians undermine democracy and other social goods. Facebook supporting Trump is an example. In the end, it's clear that many tech companies prioritize profits over the common good. They might champion social impact initiatives, but they often align with unsavory figures when their profits are at risk. This underscores the complex and often contradictory relationship between Silicon Valley and the political landscape. Donald Trump is no stranger to legal controversies, but the stakes have never been higher than with his latest indictment related to the 2020 election. A conviction could potentially land Trump in prison. But there's an escape hatch, the 2024 election. If Trump runs and wins the presidency again, he could use the powers of the office to dismiss cases or even pardon himself. In a very real sense, the 2024 election could become a national referendum on whether Trump should face jail time or return to the White House. The new indictment alleges Trump's spearheaded efforts to illegally overturn the 2020 results and obstruct the Democratic transfer of power. Prosecutors claim Trump directed a multi-state scheme involving fake electors and pressure on election officials. Trump, in his typical fashion, is framing this as a witch hunt. He argues that the charges are politically motivated, designed to prevent him from re-entering politics. Juggling three different criminal cases will require massive legal preparations alongside campaigning. Trump will be pulled between courtrooms and rallies leading up to 2024. If Trump does win the presidency again, he would gain some options. He could direct his attorney general to drop the federal cases or test the limits of presidential power with pardons. Trump's fate hangs on the results of 2024. That election could either send Trump to jail or back to the White House for four more years. His entire future, indeed his very freedom, may hinge on whether voters want to give him another term or not. Clearly, the stakes go far beyond typical politics. Trump's latest round of indictments could cut both ways for his campaign fundraising. On one hand, he may leverage the charges to fire up his loyal supporters. By portraying himself as a victim of a political witch hunt, he can rally his base to dig deep and donate to fight back. The more he's attacked, the more they may rush to his defense with hard-earned cash. Trump can also use the threat of jail time to scare up donations. Warnings that he'll end up behind bars if he loses in 2024 may loosen wallets among die-hard fans who want to keep him free at all costs. But there are risks to relying on an indictment strategy. Hitting up supporters again and again as legal costs pile up could breed fatigue. People may tire of what seems like the boy who cried wolf, conning them over and over. If the charges start sticking and prospects of conviction grow, some donors may head for the exits. Big funders tend to be risk-averse. They may balk at backing a candidate clearly in legal jeopardy. Much depends on how Trump spins the indictments and what happens in court. If he paints himself as a folk hero up against a rigged system, donations may flow. But sustained donor enthusiasm is not guaranteed. In the end, money, like votes, talks, and indictments could make both less vocal in singing Trump's tune this time around. The relationship between Silicon Valley and Donald Trump is a complex tapestry woven from shared business interests, differing political ideologies, and evolving alliances. As we approach the 2024 campaign, it remains to be seen how this relationship will evolve. One thing is certain, the interplay between tech and politics will continue to shape our world in significant ways. In the tech industry's corporate world, this is an age-old conundrum short-term profit or long-term societal good? The answer will reveal a lot about the true nature of Silicon Valley. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.